Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your Verifone V400M payment terminal, connect it to your network, and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the V400M article on our help center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box, you should find your V400M payment terminal, the terminal power cable, and a roll of receipt paper. By default, the V400M is configured for a Wi-Fi connection. To inquire about adding standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G to your account, please reach out to your account manager or one of our dedicated sales representatives. Let's start by inserting the paper roll into the terminal. At the top of the terminal, pull the latch to release the cover and open it downwards. Insert the paper roll with the edge of the paper on top of the roll, like this. Ensure the receipt paper is placed correctly into the compartment and pull out a length of the paper. Now close the compartment with the edge of the roll sticking out. Now we'll plug the terminal and power it on. First, plug the circular plug into the port on the left side of your terminal and plug the other end into a power outlet. The terminal must charge for a minimum of four hours the first time it's plugged in. If the terminal does not power on automatically when plugged in, hold the green circle button until the display turns on. Once on, your terminal will prompt you to board it. Boarding the terminal connects it to your back office. Tap Board Terminal on screen and it will prompt you to confirm your business information. Tap Confirm and your terminal will begin to run updates. This can take up to 20 minutes in some cases and your terminal may restart several times. Once your terminal has completed the update process, you will have to connect your terminal to your network. Press 9 on the keypad followed by the green circle button. You will then be prompted to input the admin code for your terminal. Lightspeed provided terminals use the admin code 5773. Type the code using the keypad, then press the green circle button to confirm. You will now see the terminal's settings. On the touch screen, tap Network, Wi-Fi. Then tap the blue plus button on the bottom right of the screen. Select your network from the list of available networks. Enter your Wi-Fi password using the number pad or the digital keyboard on screen. If you use the number pad, repeatedly press the key for the letter you want to enter until the desired letter is displayed. Press the green circle button or the check mark on screen to confirm. After a moment, the Wi-Fi symbol in the top left of the screen will light up, indicating a connection. Now, press the red X button on the keypad to return to the home screen with the Lightspeed logo on it. Now let's go to the back office and confirm the network connection. When Lightspeed sends you your terminal, we also configure the connection between your Lightspeed restaurant account and your Lightspeed payments account. To save you time, we also add your payment terminal to your back office. Sign in and go to Configuration, Hardware, Payment Terminals to view this information. If you have other terminals configured, they will also be listed here. If your terminal doesn't appear in your back office, I'll show you how to add it manually. If Lightspeed added your terminal for you, skip to 5 minutes and 41 seconds. To get started, click Add New Terminal and fill in these four fields. The first field is Terminal Name. You can enter whatever will help you identify your terminal, such as Front Counter or Left Register. For this video, we'll name it V400. Next is Terminal Type. Click the drop-down and select Lightspeed Payments dash Adyen. Now, enter the IP address of your device. You can also change this information if your terminal is already in the back office. To find your terminal's IP address, go to Settings on the terminal, then tap Network, Wi-Fi, and tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down and you will find the IP address listed along with other network information. Input the IP address into the field in the back office. Finally, we have the terminal ID. 
The terminal ID must be entered in the following format, model dash serial number, with no hyphens in the serial number. You can find the serial number on the back of your terminal under the Verifone logo. For this example, we'll enter V400M dash 451-482266. Finally, you can check this box to print credit card receipts from your terminal. Once you're ready, click Save and the terminal will be added to your back office. Before we run a test transaction, let's confirm that your terminal is connected to your POS. In your back office, go to Configuration, Devices, Devices. You should see your POS listed here. Click on the name or edit. You can visit this page to configure your POS in the back office. For this video, we'll focus on the payment terminal section. Click the drop down and select your terminal. Any other terminals added to your back office can be selected as backups. When you're done, scroll down and click update. Now let's run a test transaction on the POS to ensure your terminal is functioning properly. You may need to have a floor plan created in your back office to associate the order with a table. For more information on floor plans, click the link in the description. First, reload the configuration on your POS. Go to Settings, Control Center, and click Reload Device. Now you're ready to run the test transaction. On your POS, select Tables and choose one of your tables in your floor plan. Then, place an order. Keep in mind that this payment will process on your card, but you can refund it later. When you're done, tap Pay at the bottom of the screen. Select the credit card with the Lightspeed logo under Payment Methods. You can also toggle if you want the receipt to print. Now, tap Pay. If you have multiple terminals connected, your POS will prompt you to select one. For this video, we'll use the V400. Finally, on screen, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap no tip. Then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. Then, you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. And that's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.